Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. This will be a how they feel about you love reading. It will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching as it's a general love reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, check out your other placements. If this doesn't resonate for you at all, you might have more of another sign in your chart. And if it doesn't resonate, then it's just not your reading this time around and that's okay. Maybe next week it will be. So let's get into this for Sagittarius and Spirit regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. This will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or, ha or have someone in mind. For Sagittarius Spirit. Messages regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. What are they thinking or feeling of Sagittarius? For August 2020, what are they thinking or feeling? For August 2020, what are they thinking or feeling? August 2020. Alright, let's get I'm using the Druid Craft Tarot deck. I love this deck. It's huge, but the artwork is absolutely beautiful. All the decks that I'm using are linked in the description box. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, or subscribed. I really appreciate it, especially those of you who take the time to leave me such kind comments. Thank you. It does not go unnoticed. For Sagittarius Spirit, how is this person thinking or feeling about Sagittarius at this time? What are they thinking or feeling? Prince of Pentacles Reverse. So this is the Knight of Pentacles Reverse. Very slow movement, almost at a standstill. The Knight of Pentacles Reverse. They are delayed by something. New person, something's delaying your person bringing this offer to you. What else for Sagittarius? What are their th uh, feelings right now towards Sagittarius? Four of Pentacles, protecting something, guarding their heart, holding back. So they're holding back from you in some way. Maybe they're guarding their heart. Um, maybe there's something they're not telling you. What else for Sagittarius? For Sagittarius Spirit. Thank you. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Sagittarius or this connection? Five of Pentacles. Okay. Struggle, financial difficulty. It could be that this person feels lonely, abandoned without you, left out in the cold. Maybe there was some sort of separation between you. But your person is feeling the loss. Five of Pentacles is about loss, needing help, and struggling. So let's get some more insight into how your person is thinking or feeling. I'm using my homemade oracle deck here. Is there any other insight you can give us into how this person is thinking or feeling about Sagittarius? person's energies towards Sagittarius. What do we need to know about how they're thinking and feeling about Sagittarius? What do we need to know? Open and honest communication. Okay, so oh, they want to talk or this is necessary for your connection and move forward here. What else? What else for Sagittarius? Please? A year from now? Okay, anything can happen in a year. So I just got the message, this is very slow, this connection. 
bottom of the deck, we need to talk. So yeah, this person wants to talk to you um, open and honestly. They want to open up to you because right now they're holding something back. Now, a year from now, that can mean anything. It can mean divorce, marriage, moving in together, wrapping up old cycles, the beginning of a new cycle. It can mean anything like that. So let's see. Let's get some more information here. What are your person's true intentions? What's this person's true intentions towards Sagittarius? What's this person's true intentions towards Sagittarius? What are true intentions towards Sagittarius? Knight of Pentacles reversed again. So I feel like their intention is to have some sort of opportunity to bring you some sort of offer. But there is serious delays here. Obstacles in their way. What else, Spirit? What are their true intentions towards Sagittarius? Okay, obstacle right here. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Timing. Um, feeling like nothing is working out, series of unfortunate events. Things are not working out for your person when it comes to this connection. That's why I have the Five of Pentacles here. What else, Spirit? What other true intentions towards Sagittarius? This is the Barbara Moore deck, by the way, that I'm using. King of Wands. So there's something that they want. Um, they're very motivated, passionate, confident when it comes to you. Um, bottom of the deck here, Ace of Wands. So they definitely want to start something new. They're just kind of struggling with whatever else is going on here. So what actions will this person take? What potential actions will this person take towards Leo? Potential actions, please. Not Leo, Sagittarius. I want to say Leo. Is this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn there? We have a lot of Earth here. Spirit. For Sagittarius, what potential actions will this person take towards Sagittarius? Actions this person will take towards Sagittarius? The moon, okay. Pisces energy. Something's hidden. Yeah, there's something here that's hidden. Two of Pentacles reversed. I feel like your person, this back and forth that they're doing, whatever they're juggling here, whether it's responsibilities, two people, a decision, whatever they're doing, they can't keep it up. I don't think you know about this decision here or whatever they're dealing with here. It's kind of in the shadows. What potential actions will they take towards Sagittarius? Three of Wands reverse. So I feel like there's, you know, more waiting here, delays, setbacks, missed opportunities with the Three of Wands reverse. Um, someone getting impatient. Yeah. The world reverse. So I feel like your person, this new cycle they want to start or whatever they want to get going here. I have the Wheel of Fortune rever reverse and the world reverse. And it's like there's serious delays in ending something or changing something. Changing the circumstances here. We're going to get into why this is. Let's clarify these. So give me some more insight into these messages for Sagittarius. Let me clarify these energies, please, for Sagittarius. Okay, let's start with this Prince of Pentacles reverse at the top, which is the Knight of Pentacles here. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed here at the top, Spirit? What is keeping your person? Ooh, justice. Okay. 
He brought energy with justice, something legal, or it could be some sort of decision. Truth of a situation. Tell me more for this Knight of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Swords. Stuck. Okay, so your person could be stuck in a situation here, um, and it's mental. Definitely. King of Cups reversed at the bottom. Your person's emotions are all over the place, and they need to look at something objectively, something, they, their eyes need to be opened. Right now, they're blindfolded. They need to kind of break free of this mental prison that they're in in order to turn this around. Yeah, it's like they're running away from their emotions, not dealing with something very well here, not listening to their intuition about going after something here. It's like they're being impulsive and it's just leaving them out in the cold here. What can you tell me about the Four of Pentacles? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Four of Wands reversed. Lack of stability. Uh, there's no harmony in the home. Issues between partners. In imbalance, once again. So your person's holding back about something here that's happening either at home or that happened between you. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. Hangman. So they're they're seeing this situation differently. They're getting clarity about the situation. Seeing things from a new angle here. Yeah, and this has to do with love. A new beginning in love here. Whatever happened with this Four of Wands reverse, whether it's with you or something in their life, they're seeing it with new eyes. You know, it's almost like they're having a realization where, when it comes to love might be because maybe the the way that they behaved towards you or their behavior might have led to an in, imbalance here or a lack of harmony and cause problems and i feel like they are holding back this information or keeping this to themselves in some way so why is the five of pentacles here Five of Pentacles here, Nine of Swords. Again, their mind, it, you know, this is um, guilt, anxiety, stress, keeping them out in the cold. Yeah. Pain, Three of Swords at the bottom. This is very difficult for your person. Whatever happened between you or whatever has to do with you. Can I get one more for this Five of Pentacles? Those are very difficult. Hermit reversed. And they ran away or have withdrawn completely or they're just not... Um, perhaps they're trying to escape rather than meet with this head on because they, they don't have a hold of their emotions. And they have to let that go. I have the Four of Pentacles reversed now. They have to let this go. They're, they're in their own way here. Let's flip down here. Why is this Knight of Pentacles reversed down here in the person's intentions? Why is this Knight of Pentacles reversed down here, Spirit? Ten of Swords reverse. I feel this is an ending that already happened. I think your person wants forgiveness or to wrap up this cycle completely in order to move forward. Can I get one more for this Knight of Pentacles reverse? One more. Oh, I got two. Yeah, exactly. Six of Swords and the Fool. They want to completely move forward into something new. And I feel like this is happening in the right time or, you know, they're trying to make something work here, something balanced with the um, 
temperance card that's your energy there, Sagittarius. This could be, you know, related to you specifically, or it's just more time is needed because I have the Wheel of Fortune reverse here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? The Wheel of Fortune reverse. Seven of Swords. What? Sneaking away, cheating, lying, strategic energy. But no, I have the Six of Wands reverse at the bottom. So your person's approach, I feel, is is keeping this wheel reverse. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune reverse. Nine of Cups. Your person, you know, they're focused on their wish fulfillment here, on getting their wish granted, on on being satisfied and happy here, that it's causing them to kind of not do the right thing or not go about this the right way. Um, whatever change is needed here. I feel like they're trying to possibly break free of an unhealthy attachment with the devil re reverse here. And maybe that's why they're sneaking away. It could be in this Four of Wands reverse, Devil reverse, in a situation like that. And they're trying to escape to get their their emotional fulfillment here, their happiness. Because I have a Six of Swords. They could be leaving something in order to head to you here. Tell me about the King of Wands. What's this King of Wands about? Page of Pentacles reversed, more delays, setbacks. I think this has to do more with timing and mental than, than anything. Tell me about the King of Wands, please. Some more information, please, about the King of Wands. Knight of Cups. So it could also be that this person has a lot of emotion, good intentions, serious feelings for you, but can't really commit right now. And that's why I have Knight of Pentacles reverse, Page of Pentacles reverse, but I have the Knight of Cups upright. This could be an apology as well, because I have the Five of Swords at the bottom, something that ended badly. So why is the moon here in your person's actions? Why is the moon here? Virgo energy with the hermit, by the way, for those of you that care about signs, Libra, I have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, and a lot of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces here with the moon. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. You know what's interesting, what I don't really see here, this could be that open and honest communication card, but I'm just surprised that the swords that I have here don't really have anything to do with communication. Nine of swords, eight of swords, six of swords, 10 of swords reverse, seven of swords. None of those are about open and honest communication. So it's interesting to me. It's like, this is what's needed, but I don't really see it on the board. Tell me about the moon. Here. Chariot reversed, Cancer energy, feeling stuck, needing to change direction. Five of Cups reverse. It's all about, sorry about that, that was my dog in the background. <laughs> um, this Five of Cups reverse is about kind of regaining what you've lost. It could also be that someone's not over the past completely. It's like this is the secret that the fact that someone's switching direction in order to get something they've lost in order to recuperate the loss. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Two of Pentacles reverse? Two of Wands reverse. Can I get one more for this Two of Pentacles reverse? A choice has been made, a path has been chosen. The Hierophant reverse, Taurus energy. We have a lot of Earth here. Um, a broken commitment, rebelling against what's expected of you. Whatever decision your person has made, it's either to break a commitment or 
to rebel against what society would expect them to do. And there's the Ace of Swords that I've been kind of looking for here. This is that clarity, communication, truth. So tell me about this Three of Wands reverse. Two of Cups. Wow. I feel like whatever your person's, um, let's see, can I get one more for this three of wands reverse? Can I get some more information for this about the three of wands reverse, seven of cups reverse? Interesting. Bottom of the deck, the world reversed. Unfinished business, lack of closure, unable to move into a new cycle. Again, it's like your person wants to have a new beginning with you. Um, I feel like, you know, they're, they, they don't want to wait any longer or they've had to wait a long time. And there are setbacks in, in, in this two of cups. And then I have the seven of cups reversed, which is, this is all about um, clarity, seeing an illusion for what it is. <clears throat> Choosing a cup. <clears throat> So the actions for your person are all about choices and direction. I feel like your person here is, is really trying to rebalance the situation to bring this world card and this wheel of fortune to turn upright for them. And that's probably what we have a year from now because I feel like this is going to take time. It's going to be very slow going. Uh, maybe it has to be that way in order for your person to really in order for both of you to really come together in harmony. I feel like your person has the intention of making something right, of leaving situations that don't uh, benefit them, of having a new beginning. You know, this is their intention here to get a wish fulfilled, to, to express how they feel. <clears throat> but there's also some other things here that I feel need to happen before any of this can really play out. Because if a choice here needs to be needed, I feel like that's what's blocking a cycle from fully starting here. <clears throat> Otherwise, I will leave this reading here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.